Hello, it's been a happy and back on our action. This time we are going in with a little TikTok recommendation. I was on live and a couple of people said I need to get onto Noah Kahan. I'm pretty sure that's who you pronounce his last name. His album Stick Season. They said it's that Americana vibe. I looked him up. Apparently he's been inspired by Phoebe Bridges. So I think this is definitely going to be within that realm. They knew that I loved Ethel. So they said I need to get onto this one. Apparently he's got a deluxe coming soon. You know me, I'm not the biggest fan of deluxes. So I'm going to go in with his original piece of work before the deluxe comes out. This came out October last year, seven, eight months ago. Album cover, quintessential little forest foresty, folky little vibe. I'm very keen to hear what we get with this. I love when people recommend me stuff knowing that I'm going to love it or hoping that I'm going to love it and I love it and you know, it's fun. <laughs> Full and cuts to my videos are on Patreon. Links are down below. As always, you know what to do. Need one of these. All right, the opening song, Northern Attitude. Let's start it. Let's go. There's that cutesy little vibe we love. How you been? Settle down. How are your kids? Where are they now? Oh, I'll catch up with someone. You do a life. You lose your friends. You lose your wife. You Ooh. settle in. Where are you? Does it mean? Oh, I feel like they put up with an X or something. Or in production, I'm here for. If I get too close. said definitely introduces you to him you know what he's going to be about what kind of music we're going to get i'm sure it's going to you know dull out a bit more but i think you know this quintessentially this that indie folky little cute dude singing about the stuff that's so relatable so lifelike and i guess it's going to conjure different things within you at each different time i think it's going to depend on your mood like i'm not in a super sad mood maybe it will bring me there if it's good sad stuff of course it will but i think you know if you're really down this type of music is just so good very keen to see what else has got for us next song is the title track stick season it should encompass everything the album has to offer let's go Had yourself a change as far back halfway through the drive because your boys driving straight and left off you to the right now that's the metaphor He's already got me. But I didn't have, but I didn't lose. You just want to like Rick sing along with him. my favorite song i know it's only the second song that's absolutely oh my god i'm like i'm already here now i'm down i love 
<laughs> me. I'm like pretty happy. I'm in pretty good mood. My God, the storytelling, the just visuals that conjure within you. Phoebe, Taylor, Ethel, him. Oh my God. Collab and just give us something incredible. But yeah, wow. He's definitely in this realm and this is what I love. So when people know what I love, like I said, I feel like you guys know me more than I know myself at times because this is just perfection. It's exactly my soul at its core. Stunning. The version of you that I hadn't lost. Oh my God. Just um, your mom forgot I've existed. The COVID line absolutely killed me too. Just like, I don't know, like you forget it existed and then to hear it in these circumstances and to know that so many people lost people and went through such trauma surrounding it. It's just, it's so sad to look back that we've already kind of moved on and forgotten per se. Wild times. Oh my God, I'm keen. The next song is All My Love. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> produced by him. <sighs> Love it, feel it, like you just want to cry your eyes out. I just want to know the lyrics. I want to be him. I just want to feel this heartache full on. <laughs> just so you can relate even more to the lyrics. I love him saying he's still out there with the dogs, like they're probably the ones on the front cover. Oh my God, story driven. It's my favorite type, like he's just so good. This one definitely had some remnants of Phoebe in there for me, just within some of the voices. Oh my God, perfection, perfection. I don't normally listen to guy artists, so when you get ones like this, it's just the best. So king for everything. I just want to listen to this album a million times on the words oh my god best recommendation in a very long time the next song she calls me back but i don't know if we should be going back she's done a lot of bad stuff so far from what we've gathered from these songs let's see what she's got let's go oh there's heaven in your eyes i was not baptized oh uh, heaven in his eyes but he's not she baptized calls me back. He's so she clever calls, she calls me back oh funky little number I'm 
about her number. She calls me back. She calls me back. I love this album. God, what? Oh, just when you think you get another little bang in stops it. I love that. That was absolutely sick. The poppiest, like I said, but still within that realm and still just, you know, giving you all those vibes. I love it. Yeah, when you're in those relationships and you feel that you're the more obsessive one or maybe, you know, being a bit too clingy, but I guess, you know, it just means you're not with the right person. So it doesn't matter how clingy you are. You'll obviously meet someone who can balance that out or whatever. Love that. I hope that number was like her hometown number that he would call and things like that. But everything's all right when they call you back. Like once you finally get to speak to that person you love, Love, everything kind of melts away. It generally means the relationship is toxic if you need that, you know, reassurance or it has to be until that happens. But for the purpose of the song, we love it. I love it. Just like those, yeah, like they were just kind of never, I guess, on the same page, which, yeah, I really love. That was sick, fun, happy. It still has those sad undertones. Production, backing vocals, stunner. I love it. Like it's just sick. This is perfection. Next one's Come Over. Let's go. I'm in the business of losing your interest in <laughs> profit. Time that we speak. Oh, the you know. metaphor. Yeah. Coffin buried under the garden. Was there when we got here? Be there when we leave. I do look like it's crying. The eyes are the windows. Across <laughs> the sad house on Ball Street. Come on. What this for the lyrics? Like, who sings about a house being sad? <laughs> Noah. It's good to be sad in my house. It feels like a fortress. When the weather gets bad in my mouth Oh, the worst they went missing When the stock market crashed in the Dow That is so freaking sad It's like Aesop gets just revealing more about himself so sad someday i'll be what people want yeah i guess not being the coolest kid or not having the richest family like he said like one day that will happen his dad will turn profits yeah obviously some sad childhood stuff going on with his parents that's kind of throughout the album that's really sad but like i said i don't think i've ever heard a song be so descriptive about a house and just gives you that house of you know that kid that isn't popular or just has a more of a rundown house or whatever loved her that was sick stunning sad like i said each song he's kind of like showcasing more what he can do but also just letting us more into his life and you know what he's about I love it. Number 60 my favorite number. Is it going to get the best on the album? I don't know. There's been some epic, epic songs so far. It's called New Perspective. Let's go. <sighs> Maybe we're going to lighten it up a little bit. <laughs> you made a pile, feel just like Central Park. Okay. Little redness, get drunk on <laughs> Oh, 
Kitchen bed, they sit kids in their gym clothes. Oh, this town's for the record now. I love that. And they're calling it downtown. <laughs> you can talk with your and drag it back down. Uh. And drag it back Love, love, call me by surprise, that chorus kicking in, just absolutely solar show for me. Um, yeah, it just made me think of obviously like the relevancy of now, like short attention spans, people just, you know, focus on their image, I suppose, you know, very clever way of saying it there, the rednecks, what they're doing. It's like such a good parallel of what's happening in the world right now. Definitely made me think of my hometown, it just made me want to go there and play this album. Like, oh, it just has such a pull on your nostalgia, your childhood, and just a real simpler life. Like, I just want to go away live in a small country town, work in a tuck shop or something and just not have any of this. Which unfortunately means I wouldn't have you guys, but you know, I think we all want that at our core. I don't know. It's these albums that really make you think about that stuff and then you forget about it obviously when you leave the room and leave this safe space you're in and you go into the real world and you just get caught up by it all. Yeah, well, that song definitely just spoke to me. It was like calling me. It's like it was calling me back to simpler times. I love it. That was sick. One of the best for sure in such a different way as well. Like the lyrics, maybe weren't exactly what I was vibing them to, but they made me feel what I felt. Let me know what you guys are thinking, obviously, about the songs and what they conjure within you down below, what your favorite songs are, all that jazz. But yeah, did that make you want the same? Like, do we, are we done? Are we just so over this digital age? I don't know. Let me know what you think. Next song's called Everywhere, Everything. Let's go. Ooh. Hey. Ooh. A little owl. <laughs> It's written is so incredible. The sun's collapsing. And the buildings came crashing. The end of the world. Oh. Everywhere, everything. One above the future, we're feeling for the worst. Do we? Keep my hand in yours. The ultimate end of world love song. Some in the world. Drive slowly. I know every route in this county. Tell you where not to speed. <laughs> Cute. This book's page is dog eared. Well, that book page is dog eared because I know it. It's so clever. That the sun was collapsing. Buildings came crashing. Such a main character's love song in the soundtrack. It's like those skeletons that were found with it, like hugging or whatever. Oh my god, though, just the opening line, like, would we survive a horror movie? I doubt it, we move too slow and we trust everyone we know. Like, just in that line, you just get a sense of who this couple are. Like, just this nicest, little, happy, cute couple. I love all the metaphors. Oh my god, that is like a trailer song with the two lovers. It's like Hunger Games, all that jazz where they're just so in love with each other. I mean, that's just what it gave me once I was like, oh my god, this is so soundtrack driven. But obviously, it's like a perfect love song for the perfect you love. For the person you love. For the perfect you love. <laughs> Love it, oh my god, like you just want to do a compilation of all your favorite moments with people that you love or like your boyfriend, your girlfriend or whoever and just, yeah, celebrate your love for them. Perfect, so beautiful, like so beautiful. Not a single dart away halfway through the album, just every song is so different, but it's all just so 
cohesive. I love it. Next song's Orange Juice. Let's go. Honey, come over. We know you got sober. It's orange juice in the kitchen. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. Come home so long. For so long. Why'd you go? Whatever the hell it was about the crash and that O2. Oh my god, see the graves you passed through from that crash back in O2. I don't know if that's what it's about, it's just what I got. Again, I think it can be quite specific, or you can, you know, relate it to your own story within this world. Oh my god, though, that killed me. How, again, I'm like, how with this far in, and it's still just so, like, oh my god, worthy. Absolutely one of the best on the album. We've gone from Orange Juice, the next song is Strawberry Wine. Let's go. <laughs> I'm just like, what is going on? Like, even this, you just like, you just want to cry. Had a cigarette, I watch it as it burns. You thought you were cursed. <laughs> I'm in love with every song you've ever heard. I could lose you, I would. and fire. So much graves and Burials. What does that mean? I sleep on a dirt road with your head on my shoulder now. Strawberry wine and all the time. No thing defines a man like love that makes him soft. I see you. How much heavier is it? It's so, so light and cute, and it's like we've grown up and now it's just sad. Empty space in you were formless shape. We fit. to say beautiful stunning perfection love it probably the most abstract i suppose i'm like what is it actually about i don't know let me know as always but that's just the vibe it gave me yeah next song is growing sideways let's go I took my medication and i poured my trauma out yeah. on this man's overpriced <laughs> okay divvied up my anger into 30 separate parts what their parents did to them 
Generational trauma. And I move sideways. I know there are worse ways to stay alive. I'm terrified that I might never have met me. Oh, guess I'll try. Guess I'll try. Guess my medication fell into a manic hive. Spend now I'm suffering style. I just paid so damn impatient. But I ignore things And I move sideways in the first place oh my God. And I know there are worse ways to stay alive Growing my engine works perfect on empty It's like, yeah, when you feel crappy, you can still go going, you just keep going I don't mind, I'll watch it go So relatable, whether it's you know your own thoughts or people you're close with that are going through that stuff. I love that. I'm terrified I may never have met me. It's like imagine if we all had worked through our trauma, we didn't have all that baggage, anything like that. Like, would we really know, like do we really know who we are because we only know what we know from what we know? I know that still makes who you are, but do we really know who we could be or who we really are? Because obviously we've got our own stuff. I don't know. That makes sense, but I love that line. Stunning, perfect so reflective and just so honest and vulnerable and raw and that's what people love yeah like i said it definitely felt like it kind of finished at strawberry wine now this is maybe that real reflective stuff or you know we're definitely in the adulthood and just that self-awareness and wanting to improve it i guess what's the point right when it's better to feel numb than to feel it at all i suppose i don't know i love feeling it but I get where he's coming from. Next song is called Halloween. I love Halloween. I love any song called Halloween. I don't want to hype it up too much, but I really hope there's some ha -ha -ha Halloween stuff in it. Let's go. Drinking my days with the coast along shore and make a buggy. Drink till I drown and I smoke till I'm burning. Your hands are all smoke till I'm burning. Hope that I'll need them someday. The wreckage of you I no longer reside in the bridges have long since been oh. the gas of the home oh that God, the started the fire and starts to return to the earth. Know that you'll come if you want. Not Halloween, but the ghost you dress up as sure knows how to haunt. Yes, it knows how to haunt. <laughs> A song for the grave that I dug. A song for the grave that I dug. Murder of crows in the low light off Boston. And I see a face in each one. Oh I'm seeing my life on the screen. I'm hearing <laughs> your voices. I no longer reside. And the bridge is a fall since been burned. Build it. Like the song, man. <laughs> simple song in its delivery. I don't really know what it's about per se, but I just got so captivated in some of those lyrics, the ash, the black with the fire, the bridge, the perfect build up. Oh my God, just stunning. Like just such a stunning song to be still with. Love it, love it, love it, love it. And it's not Halloween, but the ghost that you're dressed as is haunting. Like, oh my God. It's just like the lyrics. He's so clever at how he writes. I love it so much. Next song is Homesick. Let's go. With a reaping pad, if you in a masochistic bullshit, Oh. The Boston Bombers. Oh. I stopped caring about a month. 
they're so much shorter now. I mean, they're just flying by. You just get so immersed in them. You know, the start of the album was like that four or five minute mark. Love, love, love. Like I said, I definitely feel like I finished at Strawberry Wine. I don't know if I've just like made that now a thing in my head, but all these songs feel a bit more reflective, a bit more removed from that storyline that we kind of had. Like I said, they definitely feel like the adult version of him. And not that he didn't have that stuff throughout, but I think just in my own timeline. Love that song though. While he wants to get out, I'm like, I want to get into this little old town. I want to like live there and just vibe it and have this life. So it's so funny how he's talking about getting out. I'm like, no, no, I want to get in. Like, I want to get into this world. <laughs> Absolutely love it. Like that rockier vibe production slay. Just like, oh, I got you in and just like, oh, like you just want to growl with it. Next song is still. Let's go. I don't, I don't Back down again. It only falls in a place when you fall into pieces. You find love, you can't stay here, it's hard to face. It feels too ugly, you let a fire inside yourself. You let it burn. Still here with you. I don't, I don't, I don't wanna say goodbye. Patient in surgery, I used to watch my mother move. But God is in the room. So, like, it's still with him. It's like. Nothing's what's broken. going on with this dude is just so beautiful perfect i don't want to say goodbye love it i think we're at the point of the album that you know like look we're going to the last song but oh my god you're just so drained and now it's kind of perfect that the songs aren't i guess so emotively i guess they are emotionally driven i don't know how to word this but like they're not as like investitory <laughs> this does not make sense like i think up to strawberry wine like i said like those first nine songs i think they were just so gut-wrenching and just so investing and made me think so many things whereas these ones are a bit more still and more reflective and just not as intense, I suppose. However, they still are like uh, growing stuff. Oh, I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. Let's go on the last song. It's called The View Between Villages, which I just love that name. Let's wrap it up. Let's go. Ooh, it's like literally just started raining outside as well. Perfect. Till the road begins As the last of the bugs Leave their homes again Last of the bugs. Please. Again, like now, definitely an adult looking back. Scared of death, I've got dreams again. Cute. Meaning on earth, I am happy. Meaning on earth, I am happy. Ah, 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 ah. What a nice way to wrap it up. Him being happy is nice to hear. Just those subtle moments, he's just so good at keeping you there and then building it. I'm over the bridge. Is he leaving the town? <laughs> Like that definitely gave me I Know The End by Phoebe. Like just that build up of that last song, just getting out of this place. Does that mean he did get out or did he crash? I'm back between villages and everything's still. The car's in reverse, so maybe he went back, he couldn't leave. Oh my God, there's rain pouring. It's like perfection for this moment. <laughs> I believe that's the end of the song though. But how perfectly crafted that it kind of gives you that hope and then it just strips it back and you're just like, no, like he just didn't get to do what he wanted to do. What an album. Oh my God. Obviously, like I said, one to nine, absolute bangerangers. Stick season, absolute standout for me. New perspective, I loved. Oh, growing sideways, the views. Oh my God, like all of them, all of them. Like they're just the four that really stand out to me that I remember, but oh my God, what an album. I am so thankful. I was on TikTok Live. I'm so thankful you guys recommended it and just told me to get onto it. This is just so perfect, so perfect, so perfect 
So how can I even speak? So my soul and just what I love, like the lyrics, the vibe, the hometown, that quintessential little down south Americana, Woodstock, indie little vibe, everything. It's perfect. Cannot wait to listen to it again. I cannot wait to share some of these songs that I just know as people that I love will love and, you know, vibe with. His vulnerability, just the honesty, his ability to use his voice, the stillness, the quiets, and just have you there still. Just everything. The building of the songs, it's just so perfectly crafted. It feels so authentic and genuine and just, oh my God, I absolutely need to react to the deluxe when it comes out because I want to hear more songs by him. Let me know if his other albums are worth checking out as well and yeah. Incredible, incredible, incredible. Perfect day to be listening to it as well. Just everything. I want to go live in this town and just be a part of it. Like I said, I want to be a part of it so badly and I suppose he couldn't leave towards the end. I love that ending. If that's what it's about. I don't know. I made my own storyline within my head. Let me know if you kind of got those vibes. If you had your own storyline, if the song specifically means something, I'd love to hear it. You know me. I love reading that stuff from you guys. Full on cards on Patreon. All my links are down below. Let me know if there's any other stuff like this. This is absolutely the realm that I love being in. So if there's other artists that are doing this stuff, please let me know down below. Other than that, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. Then you're gonna go.